And now I want to welcome to the stage a Ukrainian artist. Daria, are you here? Here she is, Daria Kultsova. <laughs> Daria, why don't you come over here yeah. into the... Okay. We can see out in the, in the lobby, and I think we'll see here momentarily. There it is, there it, yeah, is. there it is. Your piece, Theory of Protection. Tell us a little bit about this. Thank you very much. Well, uh, hi everyone. I was born in Kharkiv, that's just 40 kilometers from the border, 20 minutes by car, nothing. In 2014, I moved to Kiev, Russia invaded Ukraine, and war didn't come to Kiev with bombing, but a lot of refugees came there from the east of Ukraine where Russians didn't stop bombing. War came to Kiev with their experience and with their stories. I worked with them a lot. War changed everything and art could make these changes visible. For example, I noticed that all refugee children started to draw their houses with escape letters and exits. They didn't before. Or once a child drew really expressive red lines above his school. After, he told me that it was a lava one day. He didn't know the right word for shelling. Today, all Ukrainian children know these words. Eight years ago, people in Donbass started to cover their windows with beautiful geometric patterns by duct tape to protect their windows from explosions during bombing. Simple practice that could save someone's life. I created an art project using different patterns. I called it theory of protection because protection and safety didn't work anymore. They turned into the theory destroyed by reality. Eight years ago, I couldn't even imagine that I could find taped windows in Kiev or in Lviv. Lviv is 1,300 kilometers away from Donbass. But eight years passed, and today Russians bomb Lviv as well as Donbass. Berlin, where I am now, where I live now, is just 922 kilometers away from Lviv. Copenhagen, just 1,400. The world is small, and even yesterday's semi-peaceful reality turned out very fragile. The theory of protection project became a simple but very visible gesture of solidarity with Ukraine. Most, uh, more than 250 uh, cultural and diplomatic institutions on five continents taped their windows. Together with Natalia Popovich, Association with Ukrainians in Denmark and uh, Copenhagen Democracy Summit, we show it here, inviting you all to think about theory of protection. Because it is not only Ukrainian war anymore. It is a war for democracy and democratic values all over the world. The war between past and future. And unfortunately, art can stop it. But people can, we all can, and you can, step by step. Thank you.